Chapter 8 Oh my god, that hair, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Looking good, Zoe. Oh, I think she's in the tavern. It's closed down now, obviously, but oh my god. We're here. A bird. <laughs> you scared me. You scared me. What are you, what are you doing here? How did you find me? I didn't. I mean, okay, I did. You're standing right there, so technically, yes, I found you. <laughs> but I wasn't looking. This is my nest. Don't judge. It's a roof over my head. Well, a semi-roof. A roof that once was... Where are we? The Journeyman Inn. I mean, yep. it was once. Now it's a dump. The Journeyman... Oh, of course. What about the innkeeper? Ben Rime. She was nice to me. Dead and gone like everyone else, I suppose. Oh. I have to admit, I thought you were dead too. Last time I saw you, poof, vanished. I'm still a bit vague on the details. I don't remember much from last year. Me neither. After your disappearing act, next thing I remember, I was in Sadir. I just got back to Mercuria, which is why, you know, this place. Sadir? Home to the Azadi. Those armored folks with exciting facial hair and a terrible allergy to magic. <laughs> I remember the Azadi. Being a talking bird in a place where they hunt magicals for sport? Boy, let me tell you, I'm... Maybe later. I need to find a way out of here. <laughs> Why? Well, I, I kind of hey, want to talk to Crow. Do you Crow. remember meeting me in a dream? I remember dreaming about you last night. Wait. How do you know about my dream? It was my dream, too. You're invading my dreams now? Oh. Oh, God of Ravens, I hope you didn't see the one with the chickens and, uh... Oh, God. <clears throat> Did Abnaxus say anything more before I left? The lumpy fella who looks like he's been repeatedly beaten with an enormous ugly stick? Yes, he did. Oh, God, what honest, did he say? I can't follow what he says half the time, but it was something to the effect of... Bring her here. You will have brought her here. You will bring her here. You had to have will be... Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I believe the basic theme was, you know, something about bringing someone somewhere. But don't hold me to that. That place in the dream, where is it? You're asking me? I have no idea. I had a dream, that's all. It was a big, white space that could be literally anywhere. I I'm guessing the North Pole? I don't <laughs> think that's it. The South Pole? Abnaxus said something about the children of the Purple Mountains. The... the... Ula. Oh, no. You never heard of them. <laughs> the Purple Mountains. Those should be easy to find. Oh, you know where it is? No, but come on. Purple Mountains. Most mountains are gray or white. Not a whole lot of purple ones around. I'm sure they'll be easy to spot. He's got a point. No, it sounds like we'll need some help with that. <laughs> we? Look. I don't know where this we thing came from. I am doing just fine on my own. Also, I definitely don't need another adventure. I'm done with adventures. From now on, I'm an unadventurous bird. No, you go off and find help for yourself. It's nice seeing you again. Abnax has told you to bring me there. In a dream. A dream. If I was going to start taking advice from my dreams, I'd be in a whole heap of troubles. It wasn't just a dream. It was a vision. Dreams, visions, nightmares, hallucinations, they all belong under the same general heading of really bad ideas. <laughs> well, I don't have anything else to go on, so I guess that's where I'm heading. The Purple Mountains. Bitch. The inn must have closed down a while ago. I wonder what happened to the proprietor, Ben Rime. She had no handle. I can't open it. Okay, so let's see if we can find a handle. Is there like any... Oh! It doesn't look like anyone's taking care of this place anymore. I mean, that's an actual hole in the roof. Crow must be here for a reason. Or I'm where Crow is for a reason. It can't just be chance. I mean, he popped up in my dream vision thing. This means something. 
Why can't I? I can't direct him. I. Oh. Hey Crow, what? can you check out that metal thingy up there? What? The door handle I removed in order to get some privacy and. Oh. Seriously. One door handle coming right up. Oh, there's a door handle up there. Look at that glide. So majest. Thank you, bitch. <laughs> cool story. All right. Let go. At least Zoe will be able to blend in because, I mean, she's human. <laughs> Power to cloud ship. I thought you were staying put. In this godforsaken pigeon's nest? I'm done living like a gnat catcher and not having any adventures. It was fun for a while, but I'm ready to live again. Um, so what exactly is this thing we're doing? Uh, finding someone who can help me get to the Purple Mountains and the first dreamer. When I go to the tower. Uh, what kind of adventure are we talking about here? A light stroll along safe, well-lit streets, camping out in the woods under mostly clear skies, facing potentially life-threatening dangers on perilous mountain paths? I'd say that last one is a distinct possibility. Oh, great. That's great. Already regretting this. Let's go to that. Is there a oh, plan, God. or are we just winging it? <laughs> oh, my God. Depends. Are the rebels still around? I've heard mentions of rebels, yes. Mostly preceded by cursing and followed by loud calls for slit throats and severed heads. That's our plan, then. Find the rebels. Um, <laughs> any idea where we can find the rebels? I've only been back a couple of months, and I've mostly been nesting, so... No, no idea. Great. Wait, nesting? Isn't that something only- Stop! Let me stop you right there. And let's never speak of this again. What's this? The journeyman is closed, but all patrons and well-wishers are welcome at the Rooster and Kitten on Ired Avenue near Southgate. And here's a drawing of a rooster and a kitten, just to avoid any confusion, I guess. That's right. A pussy riding a, I mean, a kitten, on a cock, a, a rooster. <laughs> is it just me, or is that, uh... Not just you. Good, good, good. Well, this is as good a clue as any. To the cock and the rooster and kitten we go. I really want to go... This is crazy. I'm really, really here. And... I remember it all. Well, I remember I some of it. I have to say, I'll be relieved Things when they're finally done different. with all this construction work. But, you know, wow. I'm back. And it wasn't a crazy coma dream after all. Magic. What are those called again? Old Wayne. Alwang. Something like that. They're docile, like giant hippos. Wait, are hippos docile or are they deadly? I think deadly. Great. Oh god, what this? So what's your take on this <laughs> Why is there like a huge shadow all of a sudden? That was weird. Um I don't see Crow. I lost Crow, you guys. <laughs> the National Front guy. I hear the flapping. On my honor, anyone who wants to leave the city guard. Okay, so I am going the right way. I was wondering where the little bastard went. Hey bitches. There it is. I wanna see if we can go over here because but it might not let us go in there because she doesn't really know that it's for Abnaxus. 
Unless there's like a written sign or something, I don't know. I don't think. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can't check it right now. It can't hurt to check. But I'm sure if we talk to Kian, he'll tell us that, and then we'll be like, oh my god, Abnoxus, and then we'll go there. So, well, I'm sure we'll be back here soon. Let's go get Crow. I know where I'm going now because, so I don't really need Crow, I guess. Bye, bitches. Hey, it's Rihanna! Yas, Rihanna. I'm kidding. <laughs> Rihanna's in a video game. I had no idea. The rooster and kitten. This is it, my first stop. Hopefully someone here will know something about the resistance. Can we... Can you hurry your lily ass up? Oh, he's over there. <laughs> I guess I gotta go talk to this dumb bastard. Let's go! Are we ready? I'm Jesus. going inside. Wait for me? What else can a free bird do? I need the open sky over my head. Or at least a proper hole in the roof. I'll be right here. Or over there. Where there's cheese and... Ooh, is that a bread crust? Don't look at me. I'm not. I'm going in. <laughs> I'm an abomination. What up? Welcome to the rooster and kitten. Hey. Um, greetings. Well, uh, met? What? What? I don't know. I'm foreign. You don't say. From where exactly? I, I'm a traveler myself, but I can't quite place the accent. Uh. I wish I'd take a. Say something. I'm just going to wing it. I have no idea. I am. I'm just going. Say something. Out east. East. Way out east. Where the sun rises. I've always wondered about that. I haven't traveled that far east myself. What does it look like when it rises, the sun? It's enormous. You don't realize how big it is until you see it up close. Ah, I'd like to see it for myself one day. Maybe I'll take the trip when I retire. I mean, technically she is from the east, called? where she's from. Um, China? Hmm. <laughs> Never heard of it, but I'll make a note. So what'll it be today? I'm sorry, what? You know, you're not the first person confused by that question, even though, by all appearances, this is a drinking I have some of those yams. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Is it my demeanor? Do I not appear appropriately barkeepish? No, no, you're absolutely barkeepish. You exude publicanism. Um, drinks. Cool and sparkly. Give me some of them yams. I want to, like... Orgasm like Kian did. Be festivities going on in the city. When in Rome? I'm definitely going to choose sweet and fruity. What do you order in an old time? These clothes are warm and itchy, and I'm in dire need of refreshments. Beer. These, there appear to be festive. I wouldn't say no to a festive drink with a tiny umbrella in it. I beg your pardon. Why would liquid need cover from the rain? Should have seen that one coming. Do you have something tall and sweet and not too strong? Preferably with pieces of fruit attached to it. How about a mug of watered-down apple cider with an onion in it? That also works. With an onion in it? Gross. You just have that shit on I'm stock? And you're in the right place. <laughs> Not at all. Honesty. Ha! Huh. I like it. It's all too rare these days. Well, from your attire and, and, well, all of you, I'd say you're probably looking for a place up high hall. Not down here, Dockside. This is a rough neighborhood, and... Well, you do stand out in my usual crowd of ne'er-do-wells. Yeah, and she does look out, pretty, like, a good thing these days. bamf. I'm certain this place has some connection with... The... Maybe he's right, or maybe he's just trying to get rid of me. I'm certain this... No, this is my kind of place. I'm into dives. I'm sorry, it... I didn't mean to say that. Oh, that's the nicest thing anyone said about my pub in a long time. Really? Maybe it's a language thing. So what else can I help you with, young lady? I saw some soldiers on my way here. I wonder if there's, there's some sort of festival going on. The re I wonder why they're flying those kites above the city. He mentioned something about a ceremony at the tower. I've only seen humans so far. There used to be blue people, furry. This pub was not called the Rooster and Kitten the last time I was here. 
What was it called? It's changed quite a bit since my last visit. I've only seen you. Where are all the magical races? Oh, you don't know? Well, you are foreign. Uh, they've been, um, what's the word, repatriated to their original homelands. Well, it's for their own good. Mercuria is a human city now. There's really no need for sorcery anymore. Well, the magicals are better off in the south, I'm sure. You don't sound convinced. Well, I am sure. I saw some soul. The city has changed. It's been a while since I was here last. What's new? Given your age, pardon me, I didn't mean to presume. <clears throat> uh, perhaps your last visit wasn't so long ago. Oh, a year and a half, at least. At least? Well, there's no old town anymore. They burned the ghetto to the ground and shipped non-humans off to the islands. Also, the Azadi have built a network of metal tubes. It's everywhere. No one knows what it's for, but there it is. It's supposed to make things uh, efficient. And they finished their tower. It's cordoned off until next week's grand ceremony, but it's an impressive structure. Tallest in all the Northlands, they say. He, I, I saw okay, some okay, 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 okay. He mentioned something. <laughs> What's the grand ceremony about? It's the official unveiling of the tube network. I reckon it's where they'll tell us all about how things will be efficient in the future. The ceremony is taking place next week, on the day of the Feast of Reaping. The emissary probably thought it'd contribute to the celebrations. Won't make much of a difference to us Mercurians, to be honest. We'll still eat too much, drink too much, and pass out in the gutters when the sun rises. I mean, it's tradition, and tradition must be honored. I agree. Uh, but this pub was not called the Rooster and Kitten the last time I was here. I saw some... The Azadi are still running the city. Oh, they're not. The council runs the city. The emissary is... She's an advisor. Her advice is invaluable. Of great value to all of us. Sounds like a good arrangement. And the soldiers everywhere? For our protection and benefaction. They keep us safe from enemies outside and, and inside. From rebel terrorists and, and the like. Uh, if this place has a connection to the resistance, this man would know. Hopefully, let's not ask if him this yet. pub was not called the Rooster. Didn't this used to be the, uh, the... Oh, a cock and puss. Someone's bright idea of a joke. Oh, we all get it. The cocky cockerel with a permanent frown on his face. Clever wordplay. Look at us, aren't we punny? Yeah, w wait, what? I didn't approve. Too clever for its own good. But the painting of a tiny pussycat with a big smile riding on top of a proud cape on. That idea I could get behind. It's sweet. It's sincere. It's family friendly. It's how I like my clientele to see me. Uh... There's some sort of festival going on. I keep hearing about the reaping. Reap moon. Feast of reaping. I thought this was why you came to Mercuria. Uh, yes, I did. This is the reason for the coming to... Mercuria, but I, I didn't read the literature before booking everything and well <laughs> the reaping is the harvest festival it's when the farmers bring their produce to the city markets we celebrate this occasion with an entire month of reveling culminating in the feast of reaping on reap moon's eve it's a giving of thanks to the earth and sky the balance the gods and goddesses for providing food for the dark months ahead and it's a fantastic excuse for eating and drinking as much as you can stomach. I thought it said kiss. Wow, sorry. <laughs> I was kind of like zoning out because I was like... <sighs> but uh, <laughs> I really thought that said kiss. I was like, wow, Zoe. <laughs> Are the red kites significant in some way? Kites? You mean the dragons? They're traditional, but it's frowned upon. See, these days they're more of a, a symbol. They represent magic, the balance, the, the dry kin. And they represent resistance to the Azadi, to the new laws, to the exile of magicals. If you're caught with a dragon, or even if you stand too close to someone flying a dragon, the guards will arrest you. You will be punished. Best to ignore them and avoid trouble, because that's what those dragons are, trouble. 
If this place has a connection to the Resistance, what do you know about the Resistance? You know, rebels, rebel movement, the, the magical insurgency, no? We don't discuss terrorists here, madam. Oh, right, I'm sorry, I didn't mean, I was just curious. Look at all these bitches Tell looking at me, what the fuck you want? Someone you might want to talk to over in the smithy and city green. It's on the far side, close to the gate into the bones. Go knock on the door. Tell them you're there to inquire about the library. <gasps> Jesus fucking well, Christ. I'm afraid I have some work to do. I have been neglecting my other customers for too long. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for all your help. Why is this bitch looking at me? You got a fucking staring problem, bitch? I'll take you the fuck out. I've been drinking since noon, four days ago. See? I'm getting into the spirit of the reaping. There is no reaping without heavy drinking. That's what my dear old Gammy would say. Shut the fuck up. I just... <laughs> Can you just stop looking at me at least, bitch? Give me a side eye too. Oh my god. Do I have anything? <laughs> Do I have a sword? I can run through this bitch. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to get so angry at this bitch, but... So we were supposed to go to the bone. Something about that. I... I... I wasn't paying attention. I just noticed the bitch was staring at me. They were all staring at me for like no reason. Reason just because I was dressed better than them. Visit the smithy and the this what? Crow, do you know where that is? Lead on the resistance. While I'm looking into that, there's something I want you to do. God damn it! A mission. Mission is my middle name. No, that's not true. It's Edward. No, also a lie. Crow, I don't have time for you to cry, okay? I need a bird's eye view of things. Are you trying to get rid of me, Zoe? No. Of course not. But I'll feel much safer if you're watching out for me up there while I'm following up on our lead down here. I feel a swelling in my chest cavity that can only mean one thing. Regret? Pride? No. An imminent burp. But I will do this thing that you ask of me, and I will feign pride if you need me to. <sighs> Knock yourself out. Geronimo! Except in reverse! Aminareg! <laughs> Bye! Idiot. Hey, Kevin Yaki? How the fuck do I know this guy's name? I fit right in with the locals. Hey guys! Are you cupping my tits? You should. <laughs> They're ama- Whoa! Actually, never mind what happened, they disappeared! <laughs> Must be the clothing, it just like... Brings them back in or something. Bitch! Stop touching me. Oh my god. <laughs> it said touch my boob, not my shoulder. The shoulder's just creepy. Hey guys, can I drink with you? Oh, never mind. God. Scoot over. Okay, I believe I'm going the right way, but I honestly have no fucking idea. So, <laughs> you're all gonna have to bear with me because I don't know what this smithy bitchy whatever is. Ugh, honor. Honor, Hilarious. Oh god, it's honor hilarious. Hilari hilarious. He's hilarious. The salty semen. Ha! 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 Right next to the cock and pussy. Hell yeah! I should have listened to him because I now I. I don't know what he said. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Ye old smithy. No, that's not what it says. It just says blacksmith. This is not a renaissance fair, Zoe. There's no one home. Um. You're telling me no one's here? Oh god, I'm gone. This can't be the right door. Jesus, fucking... Hello, I'm here about the... the library. I know, it's a weird opener, but I was told that this is... Okay. Oh god, we're, we're gonna hear a life story inside. from this bastard again. Just know it. <laughs> Unless he just kills me. <laughs> I love we're, like we're just so trusting. <laughs> Like, oh, thanks. And then they just get stabbed in the face. Like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> no thank you anymore. 